Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank the gentleman for yielding. I love the Second Amendment. The, uh, I got my first gun from Santa Claus when I was six years old. First handgun I ever fired wasn't my dad or my uncles or my grandfather's. It was my mother's. I got my first uh, concealed carry application filled out uh, as a freshman in, uh, in law school. Lived in a bad neighborhood, needed it for self-protection. I've had it for the last 20 years. I love the Second Amendment. But if the Second Amendment protects my rights to carry my concealed weapon from state to state to state, I don't need another federal law to say, yeah, I really mean it. It's already protected. And if the Second Amendment doesn't protect my right to carry a concealed weapon from state to state to state, then the Ninth and Tenth Amendments leave that responsibility to individuals and the states to regulate on their own. I came to Congress to protect freedom. I don't believe the Second Amendment was put in the Bill of Rights to allow me to shoot targets. I don't believe the Second Amendment was put in the Bill of Rights to allow me to hunt for deer in Turkey. I think the Second Amendment was put in the Bill of Rights so that I could defend my freedom against an overbearing federal government. I don't want the federal government in any issue of the law where the Constitution does not require it. And it does not require it here. Don't tell me it's an interstate commerce clause issue. We, we dismiss that on my side of the aisle regularly. Don't tell me it's necessary and proper. We dismiss that on our side of the aisle regularly. And don't tell me it's full faith and credit because we dismiss that on our side of the aisle regularly. The temptation to legislate is great. The temptation is great. I absolutely believe in the intent of this legislation. I want the right to carry from coast to coast. Georgia has already re uh, orchestrated reciprocity agreements with 25 states. We've got 24 more to go. The Second Amendment exists so that we can keep and bear arms to defend ourselves against government no matter how well intended. Rather than arms, I asked my colleagues to use their voting cards today to defend us against the overreach of federal government, no matter how well intended. And I thank the gentleman for yielding.